All right, so let's see if you actually learned enough math to be able to solve this interesting word problem. And if you didn't learn this math, I will teach you it. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the problem. It says the following. So sound waves from a hammer striking a nail travel at 1,000 feet per second. Find an equation of the set of points you would hear the sound one-fourth of a second after the nail was struck. All right, so the problem here is obviously the following, but the question is this. We want to find an equation of the set of points you would hear the sound one-fourth of a second after the nail was struck. All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'm gonna walk through and explain this problem step by step. So even if you have not yet studied this, uh, you're going to learn something here. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's take one more look at this uh, problem. So we have a hammer and it's going to strike this nail. So obviously it's going to create some uh, noise or some sound. So the sound waves from this event, okay, from a hammer striking a nail, travel at 1,000 feet per second. Now here is our lovely little hammer and here's the nail. I'm kind of giving you a hint here. So when the hammer hits the nail, how is the sound going to travel? Now let's assume this is happening in a big open field. The sound's just not going to go this way. It's going to go in all directions. Okay. Matter of fact, it's going to emanate out like a circle. So we want to find an equation of the set of points you would hear the sound one-fourth of a second after the nail was struck. All right, so this problem has uh, something to do with circles, and let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is the following. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 62,500. Now, if you got this right, that is super impressive. You definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%. Matter of fact, if you were in my math class, I would just give you a certificate of excellence and tell you to take the rest of the year off. I have no idea how you're learning all this math. You're probably watching that guy on YouTube. But uh, in all uh, kind of seriousness, this problem has something to do with circles. So here we have this hammer hitting the nail, and the sound is going to emanate out in a circular fashion. Okay, so one-fourth of a second okay, out, is the sound is going to be at a particular distance away, equal distance from that um, uh, event, okay, that uh, nail and hammer. So we're looking for an equation of a circle, and this is the answer. But uh, for a lot of you out there, you have not yet studied the equations of a circle, and that's uh, no big deal because it's not that complex. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So first things first, uh, first we have a math word problem. So never just read a word problem one time. Read it at least three times and make sure that you understand not only the uh, information in the problem, but the question, right? So you got to, like this particular problem, you really kind of have to think about it, right? We got sound waves coming from a hammer, striking a nail, and uh, that sound is traveling at 1,000 feet per second. So we want to find an equation. That is what the question is asking. What is an equation of the set of points you would hear the sound one-fourth of a second after the nail was struck? So let's go ahead and uh, visualize what's going on here with the behavior of sound. Now, we have to kind of simplify this because, uh, you know, in real life, you can have all different sorts of scenarios. And now, you know, we're kind of getting into physics and engineering. But let's suppose we're in an empty field. Okay, there's nothing around us. And here is our hammer. And here is our nail. So the hammer hits that nail. So what's going to happen? Well, there's going to be this sound, right? The sound is going to travel out in a circular manner. Okay, so it's not going to just go in one direction. Now, in this particular problem, if someone is over here and someone is over here and they're a thousand feet away, a thousand feet away from this event, okay, a thousand feet, let me go put this, how long is it going to take for these people to hear this sound? Okay, now in terms of this problem, the sound is traveling 1,000 feet per second. So it's going to take one second 
for the sound to reach these people. But uh, over here, if this person is a thousand feet away, and uh, over here, if this person is a thousand feet away, well, they're all going to hear the sound in one second. Okay, so you know, basically, you have uh, these collection of points right here. Okay, this is the collection of points that are equal distance from this uh, point there. And in uh, mathematics, what we're talking about here is the definition of a circle. Okay, so we want to think about a circle. Now, of course, in real life, you could have like a building or some other, you know, uh, obstruction that's going to, you know, do something with the sound, but you want to kind of just simplify it. And also, I think sound, at least the way, uh, the way we want to kind of think about it, is if you, if you threw like a little pebble into a nice pond, you can kind of see those waves emanate out in a circular fashion. So we are talking about circles. So here, uh, let's say, for example, this is our uh, hammer hitting the nail. So in a thousand feet, okay, uh, you know, it's going to take one second to reach a thousand feet, right? So this is, we already kind of know that just by how fast the sound is traveling. So what the question here is asking, what is the collection of points, okay, uh, of where the sound's gonna be one fourth of a second, okay? So what is the collection of points? So what we wanna do is uh, know how to define the equation for a circle in math. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about that right now. So the circle equation is the following. Now, there's two kind of versions of this, and we want to talk about this in terms of the x, y coordinate plane. So hopefully you know what that is. Now, this is an equation of a circle that is centered at the origin. So in other words, this point right there is at 0, 0. Now, if you don't understand this algebra, no big deal. You know, this is stuff that you're going to learn, you know, uh, basically at the algebra 2 level, pre-calculus level. Uh, so if you only have taken first year algebra, you may not um, studied circle equations, but this is, again, not that difficult. All right, but uh, here we have a circle that is centered uh, uh, at the origin, or the point zero, zero. Now, if this circle was over here, its center was at another point, let's say at negative 10, uh, 7. Well, there is another kind of version to this equation. But for a simple circle that is centered in the origin, this is the equation. All right, so we have these points, x, y, okay, so this is any point, and hopefully you know how to point, uh, plot a point on the x, y axis, but you have all these points here that are on this circle, and this circle, or all these points, excuse me, are equal distance, okay, i.e. they have the same radius away from this point. So that is the definition of a circle. This is the collection of all the points that are the same distance away from this point here. Okay, and of course, these all have the same radius as well. So uh, that, again, is the definition of a circle. But here, when we have a circle that's centered at the origin, the uh, equation for a circle is uh, the following. It's x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared. And that is it. Now, again, if you have a circle that's not centered in the origin, then uh, this gets a little bit more involved. But uh, the topic that we're talking about here, by the way, is something called conic sections. As a matter of fact, let me show you this real quick, because I think this is pretty interesting. So uh, conic sections is a big, big, important topic in mathematics. And, and if you never studied it, well, let me just briefly introduce this to you. So let's think about a cone, right? So I'm talking about something called conics, okay, like a cone. So this is my little 3D version of an ice cream cone, maybe, for example. And on top here, this is a circle, okay? So I know this is like a 3D. It's kind of tilted, but let's think of this as a circle. Now, if I kind of chopped this cone uh, parallel to the top of this uh, cone right here, if I chopped it right down here, what shape would I get? Well, I would get a new uh, kind of shorter cone, but if I look straight down, the shape I would see would be a circle, Okay, so remember, we're going to look straight down on a circular cone, and we would see a circle. Now, if I kind of chop this cone on an angle, well, what shape would I see? Well, I would see something like this, and that is called an ellipse, all right? So that's another type of shape that you study in conic sections. And then if I kind of chop this cone on the side like this, you're going to end up with a shape like that. That's called a parabola. And then you can even have another shape called a hyperbola. So these are 
um, very important shapes that you study in conic sections. And again, this is a, a little bit more advanced math level. Matter of fact, uh, if you need help with this, um, conic sections or more advanced mathematics, this is also called analytic uh, geometry. I'll give you some suggestions on how you can learn this stuff. But this is all we need for this particular problem is this basic circle equation. All right, so let's go back to the problem and think of uh, the sound, right? The, so the sound is traveling 1,000 feet per second. But uh, how far, okay, so in other words, in one second, the, tr the sound traveled 1,000 feet. So how far did the sound travel in one-fourth of a second? All right, so we need this information because we're thinking about a circle, okay? Well, the sound traveled, uh, the sound went 250 feet in one fourth of a second. So if the sound goes a thousand feet, right, in one second, well, in one fourth of a second, it's going to go one fourth of a thousand feet, right? So which of course is 250 feet. All right, so this is going to be the radius to this circle. So hopefully uh, most of you now are saying, oh yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is not that difficult. So let's go ahead and uh, put this together. So here is our circle. So this is where the hammer hits the nail. Now, of course, we know that in one second, all right, that sound is going to go a thousand feet. But the problem is saying, uh, uh, get you know, find an equation where at uh, one fourth of a second. So at one fourth of a second, the sound goes 250 feet. So basically, what we want is an equation of a circle with a radius of 250 feet. And I already showed you the equation of a circle. It's very straightforward. It is what? Well, it's x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And all we have to do is literally plug in this information and we will be done. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support to continue to grow my channel. Now, why do I want to grow my channel? Well, I want to try to reach as many people as I possibly can. And uh, my channel is all about encouraging people to learn math, to not give up on math. Matter of fact, if you're just interested in math, you know, I try to come up with interesting, entertaining type of math uh, problems. But uh, really, my main message is that if you want to learn math, you can learn math. Okay, And I don't think that message is out there you know, enough. And I've been doing this for many, many, many years. And the number one reason people struggle in math is because they get it stuck in their head that they can't learn math. Okay, they have these thoughts saying, "I'm not smart enough. Uh, math is not my thing. You know, I hate math, or whatever the case is." Listen, if you have to learn math, I'm telling you, you can learn math. But there is no shortcuts. You know, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, you do have to work. You have to put in the time. Uh, to get better because there is a lot to learn. You're just not going to learn this stuff one, two, three. So uh, that means you need great, clear, rigorous, understandable math instruction. And that's where I can help you out. So check out my full main math courses if you really want to learn math from me. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And the stuff that we're talking about here, conic sections, you want to go to my uh, pre-calculus course. I'll teach you everything about conic sections and much, much more. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to this problem because there's really not much to do now. Okay, so we have a circle and its radius is 250 or 250 feet. So we want to find an equation of the set of points that this sound is going to be one-fourth of a second, all right? So one-fourth of a second, that uh, uh, the set of points, the sound is going to be 250 feet away from the hammer and nail. I guess that's one way to kind of explain it. So we want an equation of a circle that has a radius of 250 feet. So here is the general equation of a circle that's centered at the origin. X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared. We have our R, so that's 250. So we literally just have to square the 250. Matter of fact, if you left your answer this way, 250 squared, that is totally acceptable as well. But if we take 250 and square it, i.e. multiply it by itself, we're going to get 62,500. So here is the final answer. All right, so again, do not feel bad if you didn't know the math involved here. Uh, this is you know, a little bit more advanced level math, but hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I understood what you were saying. Yes, you can learn this stuff. Again, there's a process in learning math. You need to learn the uh, foundations, and you have to kind of go step by step. If you want to you know, learn calculus, you got to master uh, pre-calculus, right? And if you want to get into pre-calculus, you got to 
learn like algebra two and geometry. And if you want to be really good in geometry, you have to learn algebra. And if you want to learn algebra, well, you probably need to study pre-algebra, right? So you just can't take a step. You're like, hey, I'm at pre-algebra, but I'm really interested in calculus. I'm going to skip all this stuff. Well, we're talking about one-year courses here, right? So that's why, you know, learning math does take time. And if you're not willing to put in the time and effort, you're going to be frustrated. All right, so hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget, <clears throat> excuse me, to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.